Hi, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you my kindergartner's homeschool lessons and activities for day 20. So, getting into it, this is his learning binder. Um, for penmanship today, he will be reviewing T, L, um, lowercase, well, lowercase T, lowercase L, lowercase O, lowercase A, and then you will do some blends down here for penmanship. So, what I'm going to have him do today is I have my um, handwriting cards here and he's just going to go through in the letters that he needs to practice like the lowercase t I'm going to have him take some play-doh he's going to roll it out and he's going to make a lowercase t and then he will do the same thing for the other letters on these I have them in plastic sleeves so he will just roll it out make like a little snake and then he can put it on here and make the t and so on so he will practice his letters that way today and then he will complete this assignment okay so then after that I have um, for math what we're going to do for arithmetic today is, I have right here, um, the first thing we always do is we always count to 100, and I use this chart, so he has a little pointer and he'll point. I use this sometimes, or I have a chart on the wall as well that we use, and um, he's just going to point, and he is going to say each number, so he's just going to count all the way until he gets to 100 with me, so we always do that. Then I pulled out these cards, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a random card, and I'm going to, you know, show it to him, and he has to say the number. So I'm going to say, show him this card, he's going to say 77. Um, he is practicing all of the numbers to 100. I know that um, some kids aren't as advanced yet in kindergarten. Um, they're still working on numbers through 20 or so on. Um, he is still working on counting up to the, like counting out objects. For the T numbers, but um, for recognizing them, he can go all the way to 100. So I'll just flash the card and he'll say um, 77. And I'll say, what family is that? He'll say the 70 family. How did you know? Because the seven, there's a seven uh, in the tens place. And so then I'll just pick another one. And <laughs> I picked another double, but you get the idea. So I'll just pick a number and he'll say 92. And I'll say, uh, what family is it in? The 90 family. How do you know? Because there's a 9 first, or 9 in the 10. So, um, he will do those. I'm getting them all over the place. My goodness. Then, um, what we will do after we do our counting and we've done um, that where he's just recognizing numbers, we're going to do some addition. So, I have these cards here. These are um, A Becca addition cards, and they come like for families, for addition families. So we're gonna do the three family and the four family today. And for the three family, it says, over the meadow where the stream runs free lived an old mother otter and her little little otters three. Play, said the mother, we play, said the three. So they play it all day where the stream runs free. All right, so first I'm gonna do is I'm going to show him the fact. Zero plus three equals three and then he's going to make it well zero is nothing so we don't have to put anything there plus three so make three I have just have these um, here for him to use these are lids to like baby food um, those little squeeze baby food jars and so he's gonna go one two three zero plus three equals three okay then we're gonna turn it over on the back side, he's going to use his um, magnet letters, and he's going to do it like this. Zero plus one, two, three, he'll put a three, equals three. Um, so then we'll do the next one, one plus two equals three. So this time he's going to do one plus two, and I count out two. One plus two makes how many? One, two, three. It makes three. Then we'll flip it over, and he'll have to use his magnets, and he'll find a one to match the one animal. Plus two, he'll find the two. And how much does that make? One, two, three. That makes three, and he'll find his answer. 1 plus 2 equals 3. So we'll go through the four, the 
excuse me, the three family and the four family today. And I'll have him making those. So we'll do the fronts with the counters and we'll do the backs with the magnet letters. So when he flips it over, you know, he'll do, he'll put a number three and then a number one and he'll put his answer. So we will do that and then that will be about it for math. Then I thought today we would practice a little bit with our seasons and our months. So um, just a concept that I want him to learn. So I pulled these out. Um, these are some printables that I made. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can download this. But I just pulled these out. These are our months and I put them on a ring and we're gonna do the month song. So we're gonna go January, February, March, and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the 12 months of the year. Then I'm gonna have him find the month that we're in right now. We are in the ninth month. Can you find the ninth month? One, two, three, he'll keep going. <clears throat> okay, the ninth month is September. September is a fall month. What do you think of when you think of September? And I'm gonna give him these cards that I made that come with it. And I'm gonna have him look through here and find pictures that will go with September. What will go with September? Maybe this one, maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe this one, we actually were swimming, um, but really usually we don't swim in September. We, it's hot over here, so we were swimming um, just yesterday. I think but, um, then he's going to flip through here and see if he can find any other pictures that might make him think of September. So I have pictures in here for all the different months. So then we can talk about all these things like, um, the scarecrow and the squirrel and we see squirrels and they're hiding nuts because they want to storm away for the winter and so on. Um, so we will do that and then the last thing I thought I would do is I would give him this little um, guy. This comes in with all my downloads so check out the link below if you're interested. But I thought I'd give him this little guy and I'd give him the clothes and I'd say okay what would he wear in September? Would he wear, should we put him in winter clothes? What should we put him in? And he will hopefully pick the fall clothes and then I have Velcro on here and he's just gonna, he's gonna dress his little guy. I don't know if I have one hat, just have this hat. Um, he's gonna dress them for fall. So we will do that. Then, let's see, after that, um, he has an assignment here. This is an A, an A Becca page he's going to do. And he will complete this account and he will do the back where he has to match the numbers with the colors, okay? Then for phonics. Um, for phonics today, I have a couple of different things. The first thing I did is I pulled out um, some short E uh, word cards, and I made these. I'll leave a link below where you can get them. And um, I just pulled out, I pulled out a couple of the ones that have the whole word and a couple of the ones that are missing the ending sound. And so I'm going to have him use these magnet letters that you see here, and he's going to make the word. So he'll make the word web with the magnet letters on the cookie sheet, and then he will read it. Web, web, web. And we do kind of like a three-step when they're first learning how to sound out a word. Um, so he will do these ones that I pulled out here. These ones have the whole word. Then I thought he would do a couple that are missing the ending sound. So d, n, den. What's missing? And he'll grab the magnet letter and put that on there. Same thing with pet, hem, and vet. So he's going to do those ones today, just working on short E words. Then I have his books that he's going to be reading. So this is his blend book, and he's going to, um, oh, I just have marked it the very first um, one, but he's going to do his blend. So he will do um, b a ba ba b a ba ba b i b b b a ba ba b a ba ba and then there's a little song ba 
be be ba ba be 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 ba ba be 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 ba ba I know my blends and so can you. And we'll go through and we'll do just a couple of different blend lighters in that book. And I also pulled out, this is um, book A for the Abeka Learn to Read books. And we're gonna flip, we've already done a bunch of these. So we're gonna flip to page six and I'm gonna have him read and try to get the dog to his mom. So um, he will read that page, and then we may read this page as well, and it has a sentence for him to read. So we will do that. Also, if we get a chance, this is a um, Osborne Phonics reader that I pulled out, and I will have to read many of this to him, uh, many of the pages to him. Um, but he, like when we get to a word he can read, I'll have him read it. So um, he could like he could read bad, and he could read big and pig, but I may need to help him with. Sh I will have to read shouts and he may even be able to read the word luck because he knows what C and K he doesn't know that they make the special sound together but he does know that C says K and K says K so he may even be able to read that word but anyways when I'm reading it I will um, stop if there's a word that he can read like he could read and um, so if there's a word he can read I will have him say it otherwise I will read the book to him and then I also have here this I created these two this is my learn to read level fluency pack um, this is level a so it's the very first level and I'm almost com finished completing level B so I'll be getting that up on my store soon so if you're interested I will leave a link below to level a and then when I get level B ready I'll leave a link for that below too and then C and so on I don't know how many levels there will be yet but I'm getting there so um, but level A is completed, so if you're interested in this one, I'll leave the link below. But we are on page 12. I do a page with him a day, and I have him in here in plastic sleeves, so he's going to use a dry erase marker. First thing he's going to do is he's going to point, and he's going to say the sound. So, er, ol, b, t, f, m, n, k, d. And he will try to go quickly. If he misses one, he has to go back and start again. And then he keeps doing it till he gets them all correct, then he can color in the star. Um, then each page has other activities as well. There's four activities on each page. So he will, for today, it says find the lowercase letter. So he will have to find the lowercase letter and circle it with his dry erase marker. This one says find the missing letter. So R asks what comes next in the alphabet. T, so he will circle that. And then he will do some blends. So the two dots tell him how many sounds and the uh, arrow tells him how to blend. So there's three steps. First, he's gonna say the sounds separately. S, a, then he will blend, sa, and the last part is to say the whole, whole blend quickly, sa. So it's s, a, sa, sa, s, a, sa, sa. And he will do all of those, and then he will color in the star when he is done completing that. So that will be the page we will do today. Then um, there was no phonics paper today for a Becca, um, but there is this like activity page, and I have the directions for this. He has to listen to me and draw a clown. So he will do that. And then the last thing was, um, for science, we're doing seasons. So this goes perfectly with what I was showing you. Um, please stop squeaking that, huh? What I was showing you in the um, science, or in <laughs> with the uh, seasons and when we were doing September, when we were doing the months. So this goes along with that. I will read this to him. We will talk about the four seasons. And then we will read about um, weather. The sun keeps us warm. Um, God made plants and animals. We use some of them to make our clothes. So this is what we will read through today and it goes perfectly with what I was showing you with the seasons. So that is it. Those are my kindergartners homeschool lessons and activities day 20. See you next time.